Indianapolis officials are desperately trying to find a solution to stop the current crime issue. WRTV's Troy Washington explains what seems to be helping one neighborhood curb crime. Reverend Charles Harrison thinks it's relationships that mean the most. What, what Ten Point has done is basically use residents in some of the hot spot areas in the city. The patrols cover about two blocks here near MLK and 29th Street, and the reach of it spans further than that. They're now in about six neighborhoods across the city. Uh, we hope uh, by the end of next month to be in two additional neighborhoods. The point of pounding the pavement is to meet people where they are. All about building relationships with individuals and helping uh, to talk individuals through some of the challenges that they are facing. When we hear people are beefing with one another, or groups that may be beefing with one another, we try to intervene when we can and try to help them resolve the conflict without it leading to violence. He calls the leaders at the helm of the mission OGs and explains why he finds that those individuals are most passionate about patrolling and keeping their neighborhoods safe. The OGs original gangsters, we don't call ours violence interrupters. We decided to call ours OGs. Uh, we used to call them street outreach workers, but these are individuals who at one time in their life used to be the problem. Um, we have OGs that were in gangs, uh, some who sold drugs. They ended up going to prison, spending time in prison. They came out of prison. They turned their life around, and they want to contribute and give back and try to help make the neighborhood better. So cause they tend to know everybody in the community. You know, if they don't know the, the young people on the streets, they know their, their parents, their grandparents, their aunts and uncles. And that's how we kind of make the connections uh, with the younger people that we don't know. And he says so far, this approach seems to be working. Working for you, Troy Washington, WRTV.